As we have been looking at Jesus as King of Kings, in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus makes an astonishing statement. As the disciples are pointing out the beauty of the temple, Jesus tells them, this is going to be destroyed. And they want to know when this is going to happen. When is he coming in judgment on Israel and when is the end? And so he answers those questions. He tells them the destruction of Jerusalem is going to come and to watch out. There are going to be wars and rumors of wars, famine and earthquake. And this is just the beginning of the things. He's pointing to events that will happen in AD 70, almost 2,000 years ago. And then he talks about coming in judgment, which is the establishment of his new kingdom. When all people from all four winds, all four corners of the earth will come to him, to God through him. And then he talks about the end of time. And he says of that day, nobody really knows, only the father. And he says, it's kind of like a thief that comes in the night. He doesn't announce when he's coming or everybody would be ready at that time. So he says, just be ready because you don't know when the end comes. And he closes out this section with similar thoughts. Let's pick up in Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 24, beginning at verse 45. Matthew 24, verse 45. Who then is the faithful and prudent slave whom his master put in charge of his household to give him their food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom his master finds doing so when he comes. Truly I say to you that he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But if that evil slave says in his heart, my master is not coming for a long time and begins to beat his fellow slaves and eat and drink with drunkards, the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour which he does not know. And he will cut him into pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus closes out with what he's been talking about. Just be ready. You have your instructions. You have the word of God. You know what God expects of you, what the master has said you need to be doing. You don't know when I am returning. You don't know when the end will come. So just be ready. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't be the wrong person, the wrong type of person. But be the person who's faithful and serving me. Will you be ready? When I was growing up, there was a song that we sang, and it seemed like every time a sermon ended, it wasn't that often, but it felt like that. The song said, there's a great day coming, a great day coming, a great day coming by and by. When the saints and the sinners will be parted right and left, are you ready for that day to come? Are you ready? That's the question I leave with you. I think that's the question that Jesus is leaving with us. As we read through Matthew 24, and we look at this life, we ask ourselves, whenever Jesus comes, whenever that might be, and we do not know, there are no signs that point to his coming other than he's here. When that happens, will we be found faithfully serving him? Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for your blessing. Thank you for your patience, your long suffering with us that you have given us the time that we have so far to serve you. And to focus our life on you. And Father, as your mercies are new every morning, help us to use each day to grow closer and closer to you and be more faithful in our service to you. Father, we know that we fall short and we thank you for the righteousness that is applied to our life through the blood of Jesus Christ when we are in him. Father, for those that are listening that may not be, have named Christ, that have not obeyed that death, burial, and resurrection, Father, I pray for them that they will make that decision and that they will have time to make that decision. Father, thank you again for Jesus. Thank you for grace. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's Word. As always, if you have questions about the things we've talked about, please do not hesitate to reach out. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.